the interest rates are already starting to come down. It's not going to be a major decline. That's more a story for 2023, probably second half of the year. But we've passed peak period for the interest rates. And so that's something starting to move in the better direction, even though obviously the actual level of interest rates is higher than people have got used to um, over the past uh, uh, number of years. Well, hello again, everybody. Every uh, month I run a number of surveys of different groups of people in the economy. One I've just released uh, of people's thoughts regarding what they're going to spend over the next three to six months. And I get a net 18, 1.8% of people saying they're going to spend less on stuff generally over the next you know, three out to six months. Now, that's obviously bad. It doesn't sound all that positive for retailing, of course, but it is less bad than four weeks ago when that was minus 26%. So you'll be seeing in the media generally commentary obviously about the economy and maybe one or two people just referencing that perhaps things have been at their worst and certainly when we look at the real estate market I think we've passed the worst period of weakness it's still weak and the market is still going to be weak for a, a great number of months. But the greatest part of the credit crunch, for instance, that was worst uh, very early on this year. And if you have a look at interest rates, you might notice that uh, they were at their peaks of about two months ago. And we've now got the one to five year fixed mortgage rates between 0.2 and 0.4% lower than they were being charged by the banks, like I say, about two months ago in the middle of June. Back in the middle of June, we were seeing strong inflation numbers around the world. We still are. We were seeing central banks having to uh, give assurances they were going to fight against uh, inflation. But around the world, what people are looking at now is a weakness in their economies, uh, inflation starting to fall away. You know, We can see it in international oil prices, uh, some food prices, uh, minerals prices, shipping costs, the pace of rents increases, etc. in New Zealand. You know, people are looking towards a future where those interest rate pressures are going to be less and some of that has already been factored into market interest rates um, at the moment. Now this is important. It doesn't mean at all and don't for a second think I'm saying the housing market is now turning because it is not. We are still going to see falling prices for uh, a number of months if not maybe all the rest of, of this year. But in the monthly survey which I do of real estate agents I ask the agents to say uh, identify um, what are the things which buyers are most concerned concerned about, you know, what's keeping people hidden back um, in the shadows. And the number one thing uh, spoken about by 82% of agents is worries about high interest rates. The interest rates are already starting to come down. It's not going to be a major decline. That's more a story for 2023, probably second half of the year. But we've passed peak period for the interest rates. And so that's something starting to move in the better direction, even though obviously the actual level of interest rates is higher than people have got used to um, over the past uh, uh, number of years. Um, secondly, I have 78% of real estate agents saying that people are concerned, the buyers are worried about access to finance. Now, as I say, I can look through uh, a number of indicators from my five monthly surveys and see that the peak for the credit crunch was early this year. Things are starting to improve. And my expectation is that we're going to see the Reserve Bank easing up on LVRs um, before the end of the year. So that reason for buyers to be stepping back also is going to be slowly easing over the next uh, few months. We also have 69% of real estate agents saying buyers are most concerned or heavily concerned, uh, uh, not just about the interest rates and the access to finance, but worried that prices will fall. Foop fear of overpaying. Now that's still going to be around for a little bit longer but I can't help thinking that once we've got prices down about 15% so far it's just under 10% average decline in New Zealand prices we are going to get people saying well you know even if they fell a little bit further I'm still uh, buying 15% cheaper or so uh, than a year ago so I think that concern is also going to disappear but that might be last cab off the rank. So look overall the real estate market is weak it is going to get weaker, but I am already seeing the early seeds being planted there of things improving over 2023 when I expect to see prices broadly creeping back up again. Not soaring, no repeat, you know, God forbid of 2020 or 2021, but I do think we're going to see the general low point in the house price cycle sometime maybe in the next six to nine months or so.
Oh, and this is money week, so when you're looking at uh, putting money aside for your mortgages, etc., saving up um, uh, these sort of things, have a look at your online subscription services. I've just just done that myself and saving quite a bit of uh, money. And also think about doing more of your eating and drinking in, just for a while until things improved. I know from personal experience when I had a big mortgage many years ago, uh, that can save a lot of money. All the best out there.